basically Waddy has been murdered. But oh well, it worked. So we might actually get this finished. This fast. We do this as planned? Yes, I am, Monsieur Ratchet. But with the bank's questionable policy, I do not expect anyone to ask. Right. Absolute secrecy mm. regarding their clients. The last Swiss bank of its kind. No, everyone's got stuff on, but it's just me. At the moment. Well, I mean, like I said, so I have him off over it if anyone no, no. wants to catch up. I still haven't heard from Mr. Waddy. Well, we'll have to make do without him now that my friend is here. It's his box we want to access. And the clock is ticking. I trust there is no problem. No, no problem yeah. at all. May I have your safety deposit box number? Four, three, four, six. Good, I didn't. I, they asked me I have a mobile choice to choose which one the right one, but I would have just turned around and went. May I off. see your key? <laughs> I ain't doing that. Do you know your passcode? Yes. Mademoiselle will be able to accompany me. No names, of course. Of course. I'll open the door. Go down the stairs. The guard will accompany you. Sweet. There we go. Time to rob a bank. Yeah, like Becca said, everybody I know, we did a little get together before the new year, so we have plenty of time to catch up and everything up because everyone's either staying in or. Please leave your personal really belongings in this bin and then go through the portal. And get the money. Yeah. What was that? He did like a Michael Jackson. He's like, oh, let's go get the money. Doing the thriller. I'm assuming that we had to put everything in there. That bubble box. I'll open it for you. For me. Wow, he looks happy at his job. I'll open it for you. That's a lot of locks. But cool. A very big door. But a very big job. Like it. If it asks me to search through them, oh, go fuck yourself. This is gonna be fun. Um, right. A lot. Um, safe number is 4346. 43. 4327. 4330. Forty-six. We're looking for forty-three, thirty-nine, forty-three, 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 forty-six. There At it is. last, we reach our goal. We got it. Open sesame. Put the key in. Good help. Um, one key. Now I will insert my key, if you allow. Thank you. Turn the key. Now, it's the code we need now. What is the code for his, um... Passcode is 34.96.62. Do I already have that written down or am I just being an idiot? This receipt paper is just getting written all over. It's like graffiti. <laughs> so it's 34 96 2. Yeah, I mean, like, look what I've done to it. Look what I've done to it. Just made a mess of it. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, Spider Chad. Save me writing it down. Um, okay. 34 96 2. Okay, this this does feel like the Italian job, doesn't it? I'll laugh if there's no hand in it. <gasps> Ooh! I'll be by the door. Should you need? There's that photo of him when he actually was pretending to be the news reporter and basically took the kids. I suspect the effort will be worth it. This collection of various personal items. Do you know what they are, Detective Locke? I do, Mister Poirot. God help me, I do. The lighter? The Souvenirs. fucking... 
the trophies serial killers from, kills, from their yeah. victims to remind them of their kills. Ratchet wasn't just a kidnapper. No, indeed. He was a monster. Damn! The ring he, and the photo and everything. MC. For his the Michael Clark when he killed Michael the journalist, Clark. yeah. Ratchet would have needed to kill him to assume his identity. He took this ring as his trophy. Face slot. I'll be the arm. Another arc. victim. Another victim. Another victim. Um. Bruce Wayne's mom? Because <laughs> of pearls. A woman. We may never know her name. You were lucky, mademoiselle, when you met him at that cabin in the forest, alone. How many victims do you think Ratchet had? Too many. Yeah, I agree with that. His flask? Another trophy. We may never know how many people... Cheers, Peter. Peter. The lighter. For every soul Ratchet claimed, even more are suffering. That is insane. Like, that's... Diamonds. A Diamonds. Fortune. Crime does pay. No, mademoiselle. This time it was the criminal who finally paid. Yeah, because he's dead, so yeah. Our keys. I wonder who this kid wagon. <laughs> he's got a kid wagon. not Ratchet. Um. Another bracelet. Another victim. Another trophy. And then there's the one that we already found. Suzanne's red glasses. Yup. Because Suzanne killed herself after. Well, no, she was murdered, wasn't she? He knew the serial numbers on the numbers. bank notes could be traced. The rest of the Armstrong ransom money. The serial numbers match. Because he made, he ransomed the, the Armstrong's daughter. And they basically paid them, but they tracked the money. And he obviously, he was too smart. He knew that that was being tracked, so... A the one of them being Ratchet. Whoever he is with, their friendship seems over. The build. The hair. Noah, I. It could be Noah, his partner in Daisy's kidnapping. It appears they had a falling out. Four years of investigation. It's all over. <sighs> I finally have the last piece of evidence that Ratchet was Daisy's kidnapper and murderer. And she was framed for as well. have helped unmask a serial killer responsible for so many deaths. But even with all this, we're no closer to solving Ratchet's murder. On the contrary, mademoiselle. Everything. It is coming together. Don't you agree, detective? So who do you guys what? think the 13th murderer is? damaged photograph. It could be Noah. You think Noah killed Ratchet for revenge? The train. Yeah. What about the train? I know how a killer could vanish without leaving a trace in the snow. Wings? Camouflage. The trophies. Poirot, we have a train to catch. Not just a train, Detective Locke. We have a murderer to catch. I'm very eager to see what you guys, who you think the killer is. I think I know who it is. And if I'm right, Agatha Christie wrote 30 plays, which the most famous, The Mousetrap, is the longest running play in the world, having de debuted in 1952 on the day she died, the West End. Fun fact there. December 19th. Okay. <laughs> it was Batman who was the murderer. Yeah. <laughs> The camouflage, I wouldn't be surprised. I have my suspicion. I'm calling it now. Poirot, enough! You have kept us in suspense ever since we left Lausanne. Forgive me, my friend. Detective Locke and I needed the time to put the last pieces mm, of the puzzle. So who do you f I, I... I'll fill in Look where I this. can, but this is Mr. Poirot's show. I confess, Let I the party help, begin. but I feel a certain déjà vu. You are correct, Doctor. We have been here before. However, without you, we wouldn't have been able to reach the true conclusion of this story. That is very true, because he did identify the knife. 
My friends, your attention, please. I hope you have finished your dessert. But you're gonna every be right when you to find the solution. The solution to the murder <laughs> of Ratchet is a closed book. You are wrong. I, go. Poirot, admit that I was wrong. There is a final chapter. Oh, this is gonna what be good. Bloody hell. What does he mean? <laughs> Perhaps if we are silent, Monsieur Poirot will explain. Indeed Most he will. of us naturally expect a journey by train to proceed in an orderly fashion from station to station. But True. this journey has gone off the rails. A comfortable uh -huh. journey, which should have been restful, turned out to be quite a challenge for my little gray cells. I beg your indulgence. I know it will be painful, but I must update you on the strange turn the Ratchet murder investigation has taken. I had two hypotheses, as you recall. Mm -hmm. So this is for these people who haven't actually remembered what happened, in so... Vinkovsky, killed Ratchet, and then exited the train unobserved. That was the first possibility. The second solution gave us 12 jurors who condemned Ratchet to death for the kidnapping and murder of Daisy Armstrong. Daisy Armstrong, Armstrong. which I was get, which I mentioned last week. Probably chose the first solution for the authorities. However, mm. thanks to Dr. Constantine here, a 13th stab wound was different stabbed, knife altogether. Throwing that solution into disarray. Moreover, the words of a witness called into question the chronology of the right, night of the murder shit, upon right. which the first two solutions were based. Detective Locke? Oh wait, do I have to choose? Um, which witness withdrew food died upon the tile on the right on the night of the murder? Pierre Michel Michael admitted did. to having been absent several See, times. See, this is what you have to remember what happened previously to continue stuff. gave multiple opportunities for a 13th murderer to slip into Ratchet's room before the other 12 jurors lined up to stab him. You are saying the man Ratchet was... was... when we... Yes, you executed a man who was already dead. But there were other suspects that night. Intriguing. Other suspects? The 13th murder was the first one oh, that actually killed Ratchet you. and the 12 jurors killed him. Mr. Uh, Fauché, Mr. Maury, and Ms. Nielsen. And they all also had a hole in their stories about their movements that night. Mr. So Burrow, there's my free thinker. Most so I'm of thinking. you don't know it, but there was a second murder in Venice. Mein Gott, another murder. The victim another murder. was a man <laughs> named Aziz Wadi, a banker hmm? in Geneva who was on the payroll of Ratchet. He looked after the money Ratchet obtained from the Armstrong Ratchet's finances, didn't Ratchet it? Ratchet needed money and arranged to meet Mr. Wadi in Venice. One of these three knew about that money. Now, I wonder each who. of them had an alibi of a sort. But if any of their alibis was a lie, that person had time to murder Monsieur Wadi. Monsieur Fauché, Mademoiselle Nielsen, and Monsieur Maury. One of you murdered Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi. Are you kidding? I pour drinks for our guests. I don't murder them. It's nonsense. You are accusing me because of my knives? My knives? <laughs> Employees kill Ratchet. Is Daisy Wolf? Is Daisy Death the more for the 13th murderer? I don't think so, but it could be. The killer's motive for killing Ratchet was revenge, but not for Daisy's death. The motive for Aziz was also revenge. Mr. Wadi was helping Ratchet. Ratchet mm -hmm. had an accomplice in the kidnapping named Noah. They kidnapped Daisy together. Ratchet stored Ooh. the ransom money in a Swiss bank that protected anonymous clients. He forced Monsieur Wadi to watch over the money. Once enough time had passed, Ratchet felt it was the money. safe to have Monsieur Wadi bring him cash whenever Ratchet 
needed it. The serial numbers of the bills would still be in a file, but no one would be actively checking it. Precisely. But Ratchet didn't just keep the ransom in his safety deposit box. No, he kept there was uh, something much worse. He kept weapons at the victim's There trophies. was something much worse than Daisy's ransom money in that safety deposit box. So every person he murdered. During he her things. investigation, Detective Locke found evidence proving that Ratchet was what is known as a trophy killer. He kept Xbox achievement on Earth of his crimes. We <laughs> found trophies in the safety deposit box. There were mm -hmm. others in a cabin Ratchet used in the Berkshire Mountains. He did? Including a beloved toy. Toy that Daisy, yep. Yeah. If that's I what he did. that, I would have cut the bastard's head off. Easy now. <laughs> you stopped him. <laughs> right, so the TNG link would be the motive for Ratchet's murder. Right. Tracer of the Trigger of Noah. Hmm. I don't know what the second would be. Let's have a quick look at the hands just to give me an idea. It is a Rosalind Reserve Collection. Yeah, that's obvious. Um, identical. Yeah. The bracelet! The fucking bracelet! My little grey cells did not let me down. As soon as I saw her, the when it The bracelet found in the safety deposit box was also on Noah's wrist in a photograph. It's obvious Ratchet killed Noah. And therefore, at last, I can tell you with absolute certainty who the murderer of Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi is. So who is it, you think, out of the three? Hmm. Hans. Mademoiselle Nielsen has the same bracelet as the one found in the safety deposit box in Geneva. A trophy on, for the victim of Ratchet, <laughs> Noah. Having a similar bracelet doesn't prove anything. Yes, that might be true. If there were not an inscription on it. Mr. Perot, yeah, you're right. Good. The bracelet looks similar to mine, but I have no idea what the marks on it mean. I just like the design. The marks Shit. are not random. Yeah, uh, yeah these that's are bullshit. special bracelets. They are called Morse code bracelets. Because, well, you know why. The marks are Morse code. Happily, I learned Morse when I was a young man doing my service oh, for the Belgian fucked. army. Two dots and a line. Do you know what Morse code, Dave? F? Dot, line, dot. F, R, one dot. Oh, I don't like where this is going. And then it's the long one. Line. A dot line. Three lines. Dot three lines. And 
minutes. Dot in the line. Dot in the line. Dot in the line. Fredja. That's the right answer. So there we Arnold go. The bracelet found in Ratchet's safety deposit box was the name Freya. Our first in name, Morse yeah. Code. Your first name. It belonged to your father, Noah. Noah Nielsen. Let's stop. Now, I'm always the always fighting women or the murderers. But I was, what I got. Does I, say? Noah? It says father. Ratchet. Bastard. And the trunk will like set you races. free! <laughs> trophy. Thank you. I have to admit, your timing for Ratchet's murder was perfect. Do you mind? She didn't if say I that she went out for it matter? supplies. Go ahead. You burn the right to crow. I do not ah! make bird sound. Ah! I'll crow. I take no pleasure in this. Fucking deserve an applause. That was very cool. You drugged Ratchet's dessert to ensure he would be unconscious when you went to his room. You stole a knife from Monsieur Mori. And that's why he if couldn't find the knife. If identified as the murder weapon, he would be accused. You knew Pierre Michel would leave the train for a smoke whenever mm. it was stopped at the station. At Vinkovsky, you waited until he was on the station platform. Then you carefully made your way along the first class door to Ratchet's room. You entered Ratchet's room with oh, the pass key, yeah. accessible to all employees in the crew quarters. You stabbed mm. Ratchet at midnight. But that knife, where is it? Probably thrown out of Ratchet's window before the snow train would have hit left the knife the away. A thorough search after the snow melts should turn it up. Ah, there you go. My and he's like, the wife. knife! <laughs> I'll get slapped by the then, wife! <laughs> you carefully returned to the crew quarters, replaced the passkey, and returned to your poker game. Et voila. The affair was not so complicated in the end. But what made the crime seem more complex? Well, then well, you had the 12 guys come in and starve them. Yep. Exactly. The 12 jurors who proceeded to carry out their far more complicated plan literally in the dark without realizing that the man was already dead. And Speaking that's why nobody knows that course, <coughs> I believe we would have invited you to join us. Ms. Nielsen, you killed Ratchet because he killed your father. Your motive is crystal clear. But why did you kill Aziz Wadi? To tie up loose ends. It's because of Aziz that my father died. My father knew Aziz was the only one with access to Ratchet's safe, so he convinced Aziz to steal the money from the safety deposit box. But Aziz was too afraid of Ratchet. Instead, he betrayed my father by reporting him to Ratchet. Obviously, Ratchet then tissue? murdered my father. Or Aziz was just sober. as guilty of my father's death as Ratchet. Ratchet um, was the worst of humanity. Monsieur Wadi, Actually, I think if you knew kitchen. his story... My father is dead Give because of him. I will not debate the point with you, mademoiselle. He had done nothing to justify his death. I do not see any extenuating circumstances that should allow you to escape justice. You will yeah, be arrested you're... at the Gare de Lyon Boom. when we arrive in Paris. Judge and jury are you, Monsieur Poirot. And you get away with it. It must be nice. But think of this. I know what you did. What you all did. She's right. She could turn us all in. Relax. Hector, is it? Your secret is safe with me. Oh, she's gonna try I'm and twist it, ain't she? Farewell, Poirot. Enjoy your victory. Stop. Oh, for fuck's sake, she's trying to run. Is she gonna jump off a train? <laughs> no! No, Freya, don't jump. You're going to die. I've made my choice. We'll let fate decide. No! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> what? 
And then we're just like, the fuck? <laughs> that was. She jumped off the train. Even if she hit the water, considering the height, I doubt she survived. Well, you know what they say. And with this tunnel, either way, she's gone, Poirot. Yeah, either that, you know you have to. Keep your legs straight when you hit the water! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. I mean, she had nowhere to go. I mean, she got fucking caught out, didn't she? Shit, bro. It's insane though. I was expecting handcuffs on and that was it. Wazy, I yeah, I, I agree. I still can't believe what happened. Thirteen people took revenge on the same person. This and he was not he was not so winning any incredible. popularity contest, was he? It almost looks like a detective story. It would surely be a bestseller. It is true that this case it's will remain as one of the most important investigations of my career. My only regret will be that I couldn't bring Ratchet to justice, but I can yeah, finally close dead, this chapter. Can't do, he can't do anything. <laughs> your determination paid off. You can be proud of yourself. On a positive, we can close the case now, Lord. You know? If you will pardon me, Detective Locke. I have to settle a few details with Monsieur Book before we arrive. Oh, he's going to trust go nobody in his business now, is he? <laughs> I still can't believe Freya was the killer. She never even cheated when we played poker. She used too much sugar. Nonsense! <laughs> it was your so divine! <laughs> she used too much sugar in the food. Unfortunately, <laughs> her okay. actions were not so divine. There you are, my friend. Book, I have a favor to ask. Anything. When we arrive in Paris, will you speak to the police? I would yes. rather keep a low profile. But why? Oh, he's got his task, so he's got to keep my a low profile. Right? solution was incorrect. Nonsense. The nuttier the mystery became, the greater your brilliance. Please. Very well. If you insist. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for your service. The cuisine. Under difficult conditions, you surpass the reputation of the Orient Express. That is true. I look forward to seeing you again abroad, Monsieur Poirot. I promise, not all of our trips are this eventful. To be Princess honest, I really like her. I would like a word with you, Monsieur Poirot. It is important. She is waiting for you in her compartment. When a princess summons me, how can I refuse? Okay, so virtually we are at the end of this game. Like it says, for those who have all been here from the very get star, I bet you have been just enjoying ah, this. De ben as much as I have. Arbuthnot. Allow what me name, to boy. congratulate you, Would you on respect your someone called upcoming nuptials. I, are, I, I hope you won't be want. too disappointed oh. if you're not right. <laughs> Archie, really. Thanks to Mr. Poirot, there will actually be a wedding. As you say, my darling. Sorry, old man. And thanks for everything. Including finding my train ticket. Yeah, at the very start, he was like a grumpy shit because he'd lost his train ticket. And the fact is that he was sneaking around with her. And it turned out the whole investigation blew up their secret uh, affair. And now they're getting married. So, like, alright. Actually, where is the Princess Dagomar? Where's her fucking room? 107. Okay. 107. What's he got to say? Count Andreni, how is the, the count. Countess? Much better now that it's all over. I misjudged you, Poirot. And I you. There I is something that. else about my wife you should know. Why I am so overprotective. She is Cause you're a I jerk. Can't. Oh! <laughs> you are quite the detective. Actually, Dr. Constantine told me she admitted as much when he was attending to her. If it's a girl, oh, well, we never knew that she was pregnant. There you go. If it's a boy, Hercule, he'll be stuck with me. <laughs> it's a family tradition. I wish ah. you and all of your family much happiness. Thank you. That looks nice, actually. I'm pouring myself a nice vodka lemonade. I apologize. There we go. So we have to go all the way to room 107. Yep. 
And then I think that's practically us finished this game. We finally got it done. And that's actually been about what? Um, maybe 10 hours, maybe eight or nine, 10 hours. What was that? How crazy is that though? What was nine, 10 hours of this game? A very long game indeed. My daughter, my great friend and I wanted to talk to you one last time. I speak on behalf of the entire Armstrong family as well as those close to us. You have shown compassion. We know your reputation and we understand that your choice was not easy for you. We are all the more grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations, my dear. You managed to say the word thank you. Although you did manage to put us through quite a lot. You have given us all closure and some peace of mind. You should know that I regret nothing. If this Freya Nielsen person had not been involved, I would have done it again. <laughs> Someone told me the Stalinists yeah, were Yeah, don't mess with that princess, like, Jesus. I believe them. The country of my birth breeds its share of brutes and bullies, but also some of the greatest oh, intellectual and like artistic her, minds the world has ever known. I pray that one day we will again be remembered for that. I share your hope, princess. And of course, with the real murderer of that man out there somewhere, we are no longer guilty of much correct i says don't mm. push your luck too far if you'll excuse me i have some packing to do ladies as the french would say au revoir i'm in room two and i wait go pack your suitcase so i'm in i'm not in room 102 anymore i'm actually back up through the through the carriages jesus christ gotta go all the way back to my fucking room eh but there we go, folks. We have discovered, well, we complete, we solved completely. That should be everything all wrapped up in a nice, pretty bow, to be true. There's my stuff. You slippers and on. But if you guys have enjoyed the stream and everything so far... At the end of this investigation, oh, no, I still let me finish have first. my doubts. Did I make the right choice with the 12 self-proclaimed jurors? Uh, was it correct to let them go free? Yes, yes I think it so. It was the right thing to do. I think it was, because... I mean... It makes sense As now. As Mademoiselle Nielsen, what would I have done if she had not escaped? Um, if I was going to... Would I have had her arrested? Yes. Is it justice to let the Twelve go free, but have Mademoiselle Nielsen arrested? A vast question indeed. Well, because she was the initial mur- she murdered the Ratchet first, but then it does make sense- but then again, she did kill Judges Body as well, so that takes- take she motive into consideration when deciding the sentence for a crime. In you true. Judge. Your job is to establish the facts which you have done. The case has been solved. Another already awaits you. It is the reason you were on this train. <coughs> It is time. Time to move on. On October 4th, 1st, 1883, a crowd of journalists, artists, and personalities from the political and real world called crowded the platform to watch the departure of the Orient Express. Inaugurated trip. Four months after its first. <laughs> Woo! So, to say the least, I would say that pretty much wraps our case. We have made it to France. <laughs> Mr. Dilkington? <laughs> so Book gonna have to get spoken to. I think Book's gonna have to hire a new crew anyway. Oh, we're still going. Jesus Christ, we're still going? Okay. I hope you will travel with us again, Monsieur Poirot. Well, actually, I'll speak to him. Monsieur Poirot, I spoke with my associates. I could be to give you a deal on our new Firenze SUV. No need to thank me. It's the least I could do. That is very generous, but no, I do not drive. You don't? Oh, man. What? But it's electric. <laughs> it's good for the planet. Electric. I am good for the planet, as long as I don't drive. <laughs> 
Is anyone else getting the map? Uh, he refused. Uh, what do you call it? It's in the Toad from Toad Hall. That's all I had in my head there. So. Have go. you lost something? May I help you? Oh, Mr. Poirot, you have done so much already. What is it you have lost? My friends. We are traveling to Poland to help with children. We oh, were to meet good. at an information booth. Help the kitties. Where do I get information on how to find an information booth? There is, I believe, an information booth just inside the main terminal. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a great detective. <laughs> and you, <laughs> madame... Are That's a common good. sense, you silly woman. I need to find an information booth. Um, at the end of the goddamn platform would make sense, wouldn't it? In any country or anywhere. Jesus Christ. So who else can we... Hey, Poirot. Say goodbye to? Say, have you seen a scruffy little guy in a green trench coat? I cannot say I have. Why? He's my next case. Another case? Oh. That was indeed fast. A detective's gotta eat. You know what I mean. I... <laughs> Have some idea, yes. Suspected embezzler, traveling east, but not on the Orient Express. Say, you wouldn't be interested in teaming up, would you? Some no, we've had enough fun. I have had enough of trains for a while, thank you. Okay, suit yourself. I've enjoyed the stream. Envoy joined in late. I know, ma, but that's okay. Mr. Poirot, Mr. McQueen here thinks he may know an attorney in the Berkshires. Who might need a gentleman's gentleman? He's old gentleman's school gentleman. English. I think the clock stopped for him in 1934. I hope it works out for you, Monsieur Masterman. What about you, Monsieur McQueen? Well, back to law school for me, following my father's footsteps. We can take just, the train to St. Pancreas, then the just don't do any dodgy shit Heathrow like your dad Check did. out some flights. Might as well. We're already packed. I wish you both bonne chance. Bonne chance, mon ami. Oh, do I have to speak to these guys? Yeah, okay, I guess. Ah, Poirot. Mission accomplished. I have reported to the police that Freya <sighs> Nielsen killed Hatchet and that she escaped. They're issuing an international arrest warrant. There's a canal that runs alongside the tracks where she jumped from the train. But you, do you think she survived? There's a chance she survived. The police have questioned mm. all of the passengers and crew. She so might have survived. Now, they are free to leave. Yeah. I gave them the results of my preliminary autopsy, and they have the report from the Venetian authorities. They were okay. arguing about jurisdiction when I left. Thank you, Doctor. You have been of inestimable help. Inestimable? That's a good case. word. I'm pleased I could assist you. Inestimable. Mr. Poirot, it seems our paths part here. It was an You've honor been a and a pleasure to work She's with you. She's been a delight. And I am with you, Detective. The case would have been impossible without your tenacity and dedication to finding the truth. You also proved to be an able gun artist in Geneva. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything. He's like, oh, don't do hugs. I'll never forget you. And I shall always treasure our collaboration. Uh, look at that. That's that. Oh. I'm hungry. Let's I'm go hungry. To the <laughs> they make an excellent leg of lamb, but it's only 5.34 p.m. You've got to eat somewhere. Food, all you really think about, my friend? I'm the it's one. It's book. You, yeah, of course he fucking makes you food. You well deserved it. I'm warning you. I'm not going to obtain for you a secret recipe this time. Poirot. Yeah. They make a chocolate mousse. It is so creamy. It must have a secret ingredient in it. The last recipe came from a murderer. The murderer it yep. was sublime. sublime. And there we have it. Whew. That was it, folks. Look at that. We can finally say we've done it. Oh. And I can finally get those headphones off now, finally. So, yes.
There we go. It has been a very interesting game. And like I said, now that we're in the credits and stuff, so definitely on my mind, if you've never played it before or ever read the book, it's a nice little twist on it. I will definitely say that much. Buddy, I'll get you. No, but I would 100% say if you like a good little mystery that it's a nice little twist because it's 2023 and the Joanna Locke detective character, she was not part of the original book. The same with the 13th murder. It wasn't in the book. So how they tied everything in was actually quite clever. And I really appreciate that. That I mean, when you're on the train stuff, solve the mystery and obviously you have to really listen and as you can tell like the second time i did stream this i had a big concussion on my head i had a big scratch on my head and my brain power was pretty when i did it so i did kind of i lament i did just turn and go oh, i my head just can't solve this but this time around i will turn around and say i definitely yeah i kind of goofed up again trying to solve the but it was good that I was right that she was the final murderer and 100% worth taking a look at this and having a great laugh and enjoying a little good over 10 hour adventure. Probably technically it's 8 hours or 9 hours because we did do a lot of faffing about trying to figure things out. But it's definitely, if you do like a little narrative puzzle game it is a hundred percent worth getting this game i mean i won't stream it again because we've done it but if it's something that you want on the off down low 100 percent recommend it and on the pc i've got currently it worked fine it's it, it actually has behaved most of the streams and we've had a fantastic time doing it and since so if there's new people here sitting about and have want to keep up with stuff give a follow for the b web it's very much appreciated lets me know we're doing things right and of course we have links to other things so if you want to catch up with things in the past me goofing around irl bam in the chat that is to your side is basically the link to the youtube the blue streak spider 34 web space check that out there if you want to keep up with everything that's going on there and of course we do have a facebook one as well not often used but it's there and it is known as the Blue Streaks by the Fire 4. Check that out. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with free games and stuff, and join a bunch of groups. Oh, got a red ending bit. Hold on. See what's happening. Got a ladder. We're mansions. Oh, right. Shit, I've got to still do more. Alright, hold on. And here was me thinking that was it done. He's looking at his snack. Is this when, like... Hang on. Just so we, you guys can get the audio pro properly. Right. So what am I looking at? The letter. Ha! Flat 203 56B Whitehaven Mansions, London. At least it's not 21B Baker Street, is it? Dear Poirot, I didn't really have time to say goodbye when we parted. I thought I had beaten the greatest detective in the world. But you unmasked me. I still had my revenge, though. I even managed to help myself to a small amount of cash from Wadi's bag before you interrupted me in Venice. It so she left. to settle somewhere in a quiet little town where I will create delicacies for appreciative clients. You won't hear from me again, nor will Book get any more of my recipes. Oh, and one last thing. You may not think so, but I truly believe Ratchet and Wadi got their just, just desserts. desserts. Regards, F. So, yeah, you, so... mademoiselle, are entirely too pleased with yourself. You give clues no one could follow. Unless they are Hercule Poirot. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I did. 
did seem a bit too too planned when she jumped. She had no fear. So that's it. That's it now officially, officially done. So, what did you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed it. 100% I enjoyed it. And of course, this is the last stream for the 2023s. So I appreciate you guys' support and love for being with us. I'm going to jump out of this to